happen every time you play an official at this level. And so I think mentality-wise, FaZe are, are ho I, I hope, going to be coming in with a better mindset than, than maybe Vitality did in that last game where they kind of just fell apart at halftime. You know, whether that will translate into the server, we'll have to wait and see. But with Ancient as our map pick, this is going to be a spicy BO1, Harry. Yeah, you know, I think as well, we kind of talk about it as, uh, you know, teams here that have already been playing through the challenge stage, they're coming in like warmed up, right? Yes. Phase, they've been boot camping, sure, but they haven't been in the atmosphere of being at the major, playing these officials, playing these live games. Look at Rain sliding around the place. Look at that. You ever seen anything <laughs> like it? <laughs> da -da -da, look at him go. Skin. It's Rain in the cave. Oh, baby. He's skiing, man. He's on his... Sliders right now. Healy's on for Rain. He's got to wheel himself out of there. GXX deleted by the tap. And now the B site gets taken. Yeah, he's opened up with the first. Carrigan smoke spam goes a long way. No Regon's going to turn it around and deal with Rain. Bomb now planted and a four on three ensues. It's a late lurk out of Rops all the way up the lane side. No one's holding for this right now. And Carrigan's found himself another. Synopsy on the receiving end of that. So now Cenari and Regon have got to get it over the line. There's one kill out of this Glock at round. Oh, oh Robs! Oh, he's whiffed it. Those are not Rob shots that often miss. Twists now. 1v1. No Needs time. to finish what Carrigan and Rain started. But the timer's going to elude him. And Regon puts one in the dome. Considering that as that plant comes in for a moment, you know, you were two men up on the FaZe Clan side. You thought they had that in the bag. But it is a turnaround out of Bad News Eagles, and they're going to find the pistol to open up their oh, T-side. Very scary. Very, very scary. And yeah, like you said, not a Rob's whip. Not a guy that we, we ever really see uh, you know, look, uh, look in too deep and, and just missing his headshots. So that's not a great sign for FaZe in the pistol round as they drop a two on four. But regardless, they've got to make do with what they got. MP, oh, sorry, UMP and Scout with some surrounding pistols. Ray, the first man to really find his stick with the wall bangs here towards K. The twist is gone, dead through the smoke. Rops gets run down by Mac 10s in A main, and this should just be the A split. FaZe know what's up, they peel completely out of B. Carrigan took his pipe out, they're just running at him. He tried to beat that deep CT smoke thrown over from middle, but it's denied. In the temple, headshot is brokey, and FaZe barely get a bite into this meal that is the second round. Rain's got to save that scout and BNE. They're coming. Yeah, will he get away? Terrifying. They're coming up from ledge as well, so. Should be able to clear him. There's a spot. Rain of the Deagle will not connect. And GXX finds two exits there to put the round on the board for BNE. Five up. And so money is going to be swelling to start this series. Phase, they've got to whack some ointment on it. But it's not going to be in this round. Just pistols yet again. Rops with a bit of Kev. BNE heading B. Yeah, that third one just kind of waiting in the wings, right? It's a bit of f formality. Wow, very early. Carrigan wanted to peek there, wanted to go swinging, was hoping it would set him up, but Ooh. okay, Rain's gonna be the man. Two strike first. Regan just smokes Carrigan off and kind of gives him his due respect over here in cave. Ooh, Carrigan's oh. gone through and Regan oh, no. turns on a dime. So that attempt at the push, man, the timing that could have been found, it just eludes FaZe Clan. b and &E haven't even really revealed their hands yet. Thus far, you've seen what, you know, like these two guys over towards B. Other than that, nothing else has really come through to give up the aim of the game as to where this one's heading. And now the B-smoke's come in. Now it dawns on FaZe. 
grab, try and bait in for the player in the smoke. It's rain. Molly fortunately misses, but a re-smoke will buy more time for that pot. It's very open. Rain can spam. He's not aiming on the right spot, though. Synopsy will get away with it, and that should just be the round one as a result. Synopsy even spams out rain. He does connect for a sec. Hello, Rops and Brokey. These rotates come in quick, and no whiff on the flank this time. Leaves Synopsy in the clutch. 1v2, and no kit for FaZe. They've got to find this kill ASAP. They think he's wrapping them long. Checking their backline should limit them to only ramp. Now they know Rops up close, and he hits the headshot. Should just be enough time for this round. I said it wasn't FaZe's, but I was wrong. Pistols stolen away with some deagles and Rops to get two more than makes up for his pistol round. Yeah, that's a nice round to find, man. Like, Carrigan knows those ones are kind of a, a dime a dozen, right? You don't get them every day. So when that comes down the pipeline, it's going to be a bit of a confidence booster here. A chance for FaZe to right the course of Ancient early on and slow down this hot start from the Bad News Eagles. Orp in tow for GXX. Brokey's got his now over on the phase side of things. So there's even a chance of this clash of the Orp players. Oh, he even got that quick molly to stop phase, either run boosting or just climbing up ledge early. Thrown from T-spawn. It's a five-man B setup. That's why right? they have no min info, no control. So they don't know where phase are going in middle. It's just twist tucked in with that info. Right now, they're just going for an early B-pop, it seems. Throwing the full execute. Rain with a spam. We are waiting for it. It makes its mark very early. Carrigan with a spray it is converted onto by Regon, but it's still a two on three. BNE in hot water, but that's a hot shot for Synopsy. And suddenly, there's hope yet. Yeah, do they want to follow through, follow through with the B play though, right? Because with twists here on the lane side, oh, FaZe know it's B and Brokey, wow. that's clean. His AWP immediately makes itself known in a very big way. Brokey with a gnarly triple, immediately ties this game up. Now Bad News Eagles, their money down in the dumps. Yeah, they should have had an extra round for free, right? Just to build up that cash and, and therefore this would have been a buy, but... All down to the Rops Deeg that put them on pistols in the fifth. Not much at all. One Deagle to three Deagles. Just looking to pop some noggins, but Synopsy on the boost quick. Carrigan is safe, fortunately enough, throwing line up smokes down for the ramp. Rain wants to meet them there, but they're holding many a men with many a pistol. And Rain only going to farm up one. It's a lot of info. You know, be any a heavy B lee, and that's a good recovery from Carrigan, who didn't clear the corner. And one flat throw dead. Another entry what? attempt denied what? by Carrigan. He should have been dead immediately there. But instead, he keeps this round phases and he keeps it clean as Scenario looks to make money on the way out. Bye bye. Ooh. I'm going to ask that you stop calling things ahead of time. It feels like you're putting a bit of a curse in place. Yes. All right, Scenario. It's going to get wall banged. No. <laughs> How many does he get with the MP9? Ah, oh, zero, man. Scenario. All no right. Chance. Ooh. Ooh. Found the gap. Carrigan. Ooh. Carrigan. Carrigan. Oh, oh, gonna hold the line, isn't he, with the fourth? Yeah. Yeah, very clean stuff out of Carrigan there in the B-hold. It really felt like he was in such a dangerous position. It's a bit of a miracle that he gets out with four at the end of things. You know, he's 20 health after that first fight and was out on an island just dueling for <laughs> ramp control. And yet no one could land a bullet on him. Bad News Eagles now going to call in attack timeout. They want solutions and they want them quickly. I'm really curious with how they try to do, uh, how they try to deal rather with this brokey AWP. Watching this guy open, man, it's been a, probably one of the best things about 2022. How he's been writing himself into the history books and. I don't think we necessarily saw the best foot put forward by FaZe to open up here. So yeah, maybe it's ignited a bit of a fire underneath guys like Brokey. Certainly as for Carrigan, who's taken that loss very personally and is trying to duel his way to success in this one. It's a quad B lean early for FaZe Clan. 
Yeah, I mean, that's all we've seen out of B&E, right? Them just going for heavy D hits. So FaZe want to try and fight it back. Oh my God, what a whiff for Synopsy. Twistful Blinds turns on a dime and delivers an opener here for FaZe. Rob's trapped up in main, continues that spray control, but already they're running out of donut. Brokey's here just in time to try and help out, but not before Rob's gets picked. Brokey responds, knowing there are two more towards his A site. They're sticking it. That's ballsy. While half the team aren't even in the bomb site yet. Trapped in middle is Flat Crow looking to fight his way out twisting the smoke again gets killed but brokey has got to do it all on his own Carrigan's only just getting here oh, swung up close and airy heals with wow. the man it goes on to double it's three in total for him as he breaks apart that a hold bad news eagles back on the board like a good they adorn i'm red jerseys man yeah i like him you know, that, that round, I don't know how they convert considering Twist comes through that smoke, not only getting the kill onto Synopsy, was it, but then even just clears the entirety of B lane. FaZe may have started 4B, that was the problem, but they immediately got the info seconds into the round and, uh, and, and just set everyone up for those rotates. But Rop's getting caught by the quick donut swing. Brokey only going one for one. And Sonari with a pop-off round. Faze's money is still fine to buy. Carrigan's going to be left to the wayside, but maybe Rob's could set him up with something. Regardless, already a techie going on early in this game. Six rounds deep, very back and forth. Faze just trying to keep their head in it, stay focused. I mean, dude, like, you know, scenarios at... Just so, like, you kind of see it in that moment there. When he's in these kind of positions where it's, like, all on him to try and have a big moment, to try and make some magic happen before our very eyes, it feels like that's where he thrives. It really does. I mean, it was him who tried to go for a graffiti-worthy clutch on that nuke that bomb side, right, over oh. on A. Dude, like, I mean, you know, if those are the kind of rounds he's capable of churning out, it... it, it shows why there's so much potential for Bad News Eagles, right? It's like even as you kind of work it down at a very individual level, there's just so much talent here. So much talent hasn't really had this exposure to the, the mainstream, as it were, you know? And uh, they're trying to relish in that opportunity. Yeah, it really is just a, a case study of how anyone can make it, right? Like that's, that's what the majors have always been about, and not just in offering so many regions, qualification paths through all over the world. Uh, but, but even just for these guys who have come through from, you know, FPL, many of them, and made a name there and, and grinded through officials, played so many online games, formed this squad, and have now made it to top 16 at a major and are still competitive, right? It's not like they fluked their way here, here through easy matchups and we're expecting to see them get, you know, destroyed. BNE, one of the many teams that could absolutely go through to the playoffs right now especially if they start off by taking down FaZe, who may be on a cold day. We already saw them very, very quiet against Ensor Mirage. And I think this map is, you know, kind of perfect for an upset. Brokey's got his AWP in. Carrigan's gone for the MP9, fielded with some utility. GXX is got the orb out as well. Looking for a mid-spawn, it seems. FaZe have yet to try and take ledge from middle. Been keen to pop out through that smoke. But B and E are the ones who want B again. Four strong, even a fifth after that mid-molly gets thrown in. Fine play with no map control. And so far, it hasn't let them down. Oh, mate, if Rain were to go for a peek there, you were feeling nervous for him. Carrigan as well. Really feels like FaZe want to try and duel for this lane control. However, it does betray them in this round. Brokey with his orb Hello. making a stand. What? So low, but he's able to get out of there. And that kill, that one that just gets away, that orb still being alive, it's just as deadly on six points of health as he is on 100. Oh, they know he's here. That smoke, that's going to slow things down. He's going to try to spam out the plants. One that FaZe even tried to bring into use at the start of this map's addition. Synopsis spammed out Rops, though, but there's a bit of revenge for Twist. Brokey's holding for a late lug. It's not coming through. If FaZe want to go, they have to decide right now. 
Yeah, times of oh. the essence. That flash to set up one Flatro. Oh, it's pretty. A 2v2. Brokey. I said he was deadly, even at six points of health. He needs to show that now. Rain alongside him. Juan Flatro still inside of the site, swinging out. He deals with the first, Ooh. but can't follow up. And so Rain will trade it. No kit. Gonna be close without the kit, but I think it's still good for FaZe. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Not even oh. close. Four to three in the last second retake as well. That was very scary. They went back to check their back line, right? We've had a lot of, uh, you know, kind of suffocating post parts here for B&E. They pulled out that sick 2v4 in the pistol, but, you know, often they've just been constricted to ramp and close cave. And FaZe have often been the ones flanking the latter. That plant gives a little bit more room for ramp players to actually tuck in. When it's on pillar, you have to swing so wide to try and stop a defuse. He's lobbing in that wall of Molotovs towards B. They've really been, you know, through trial and error, taking this lane control back. Carrigan respects it this time around for now. Twist waiting, but there's a flash through. Won't do a thing. He sees players cross through. He knows he's getting chased down. And Twist is good for a double. Picks one out of thin air and finally goes down. But his job is done. Rops in the bomb site. They didn't see him get tucked in either. And this AWP is only baiting four Rops who will recover and take down GXS. This, this round is quickly falling apart. Yeah, you're on a bit of a damage dealing mission here if you're Synopsy. You know, they've got him boxed in. He can't go back to middle. He's got to fight forward into this side of the map. Flashes through, tries to play around them. The Brokey is on that angle and won't let up. Him and Rops able to hold down that A play. Nice little kind of bait and switch between the two of them, right? With Rops over tucked at the big box. And so FaZe are looking good out of the gate, right? From that early turnaround in the third to only letting Bad News Eagles get these one and done rounds past them. That's now a successful retake of the B site and a flat out, you know, repelling of the A play. Yeah, I wonder if you see more mid takes like that because B and E have been getting a lot, given a lot of respect in middle, right? It's been Twist who's been getting caught out through smokes, having to drop his own one way. Broke, he's rarely been there with the AWP. Again, Carrigan, a new round, same objective, take lane back, but not the result he wanted. Double pistol opener as Rain also fell towards Cave. Right now, it's only Brokey on B. He's not got the auto fire. He's got to pick a play player out with every shot he takes or they're getting close. Yeah, smoked off at the short side. His window to play into the round is now closed. Are they done? One plant now in phase, man. You've got to be feeling hesitant yeah. to give this one up, but it might be the only call, the right call in a bad spot to have to make. They just concede this. And Bad News Eagles, man, I, I kind of hope that we see them, you know, getting the better of this lane control because it's been a real consistency. It feels like that is very much the game plan from FaZe as to disrupt these B hits, which can be really strong for the Eagles, man. You know, they, they've been constantly trying to fight cave, fight down ramp, and to, you know, we'll call it a mixed bag of results. I think it's something where if Bad News Eagles are patient here, and already knowledgeable that that fight's going to be offered to them nigh on every round. Yeah. They, that could be their way in. Face can't keep going for it, right? It's just not been fruitful at all. The, I think they've got one successful round out of it when, when Twist comes through the smoke and Synopsis full blind and, uh, and whiffs his spray, but that's not a, a common factor. We need to see a better solution towards B for FaZe. Because also the retakes have been pretty good, right? But the, the problem is when you, like you said, allow B and E to run these executes, FaZe kind of can't stay in the bomb site when the full exit comes in. When you have double molly, double smoke, there's nowhere to play but the middle of the open. FaZe don't want a five on five retake. They're trying to thin the herd early. They're doing good damage with nades, with spam, but the kills are coming up. B&E jumping into middle. Twist is finally there. And a little more aggressive in the middle area. Bailed out by Brokey's flashbang. He can escape to safety. He's even playing a one-way. Caravan dueling ramp still. He will go down. It's up to Rain in Cave. Yeah, Molly Doff tries to play ahead of it. Now that could spread. It could box him in. He's left fighting. Rain's good for the Ooh. first. Brokey, that's a lovely shot out of the AWP. And now GXX alone tries to deal with that man in rotation. Rops will get the better of him. And so this B retake comes together for FaZe Clan. 
Yeah, far cleaner, right? This time they actually have more mid control. That's been something FaZe have been lacking all game. It, it, it means you have to start double mid, and that's probably part of the anxiety for FaZe. They know that this every round really has ended up on B except for one, so they don't want to be leaving B weakened early. Uh, but this time, Brokey's there. He lobs in the U2 with Twist. We have Twist set up bottom mid. He's able to fast flank if he wants. He doesn't need to in that round, though, because FaZe just keep the site together even, uh, even as B&E get in. Looking better, FaZe finding more success. Lots of Molotovs traded early just to deny that aggression. Rain's going to smoke it. Thank you for the insta bloom. And he's got a nice tasty gap here to find walking players crossing through Rain. Even 50 damage can go a long way. The Nade will supplement it down to two on Synopsy. Rain's done 98. Not bad at all. And B&E again constricted. Rops has even got deep A main info. Lacking mid info though right now for FaZe. Now that's about to change, man. Brokey was on this main push, right? Now he's rerouted into Donut. I'm assuming this is like the long con to give Twists the freedom to play rotate. Yeah. And that's happening right now. So uh, yeah, Brokey's able to hold this mid angle to reinforce this side of the, uh, sorry, the, the, the middle area of the map. And it frees up Twist to play that rotate role. This is all thanks to having that early double up in A main to set Rops up here, right? He's going to start to swing ahead of this. Oh, and a no. miss shot from GXX's AWP. Now the alarm bells start to sound for FaZe. Brokey got set up in Donut to hold for exactly this contingency wow. and hold it down he shall. Doubles up on that AWP. Bad News Eagles, two versus five. And they're relegated to a save in T spawn. Yeah, they just didn't like what they saw at B, right? They didn't want to commit to that take. And going back late in the round to clear out T spawn, you see the, the pain that comes with it, how much info, how much room FaZe have. With Rops all the way pushed up in A main. Sinari, he's got to fight for his life right now. Rain's coming in from the B side, and they know FaZe have full info. No surprises. Oh, great flashbang, but Quan Flatro holds on. And I think they've got it. I think they've just about survived the last second spam, maybe. Oh. Rock's coming through, but no, no exits for FaZe. Still, only two guns held. It wasn't the perfect round for B&E. It wasn't what they wanted. Rops has been very aggressive in A main in some of these previous rounds, as B&E are now finding out. So if they want to stop that, they've got to do it early. But yeah, more often than not, B&E a 5B at the start of the round. And I mean, I look at this as like a real test for the Bad News Eagles now, right? Like, because there's one thing Carrigan's very, very good at with all of his experience and all of his tenure as an IGL. It's kind of coming up with solutions on the fly and getting a bit of a read on the game, right? He even uh, made that decision for, for I'm assuming it's him, you know, Rops and Brokey to go and reinforce this A bomb site early to take all that control. And I mean, it was at the perfect moment, right? That was finally around where Bad News Eagles tried leaning back into that A bomb site. So, you know, Carrigan's probably feeling like he's got a good read on the game right now and so it's gonna fall into the bad news eagles camp to try and one up him and that's a very hard thing to do a triple set over here early on rops you said how he's been playing aggro over here in maine he's got brokey to support him right hoping that brokey can strike first peel the attention in towards him that's not going to happen with regon making oh. that first contact from the orb shot rallies out and rops tried to go pushing but does get dealt with only a one for one while this is happening synopsy is all the way through red okay. up middle twists knows there's a chance at this gap being found but how much do phase believe that someone's hit that timing <sighs> Right now, oh. it was checked for a moment, but it's not being properly considered. Brokey is getting backstabbed. If he falls, that's the invitation into A. Synopsy's trying to milk this for all it's worth, and the decision to go Temple is a smart one. They will not be ready for this. They will have no idea that someone is in this position. Brokey now dead, oh. and he's seen the man over in Donut as well. Synopsy has opened up the path what? into an A play. Carrigan swings out, and the bomb plant's denied. It starts to get a little bit weird now in the mid round, and Carrigan with this AWP is putting it to good use. GXX alone trying to bait what? this shot, but Carrigan's built different and holds it off to the right moment it's three from him and phaser up onto eight. Oh, he's an orper always was always will be and that is a beautiful round
ground on rotation for Carrigan. Poor Synopsy Man on that big flank. Finding the first kill is great. He even knows where Twist is. You know, lets his teammate get completely controlled in A. But he faces CT before that AWP is ready. It wasn't primed. It wasn't out. Bolt was not pulled back. And so Carrigan just gets a freebie and goes on a tear. Great bomb plant denial for Twists as well. Gives B forces B&E to stay in the bomb site. Doesn't let them tuck in and play that timer. Oh, Rain continues his aggression, his spam. And Carrigan continues dueling ramp. Some things do never change. Huh? Two kills. Pistol out. Trying to farm these Ecos. And he's got three. Now the AWP here as well. Rain lines up more. Brokey may have fallen, but this round should just be fine. And FaZe hold on with nine in this CT side right now. B plays, B rushes, finally getting minced by FaZe. And so this is really a changing of the tide in this uh, latter stage of the first half. Also, I feel like Brokey has had incredible positioning all half in this map. He has been in the right place every single time. Yeah, he got caught on the A side by that timing the other round, but he was in Donut on that mid-split play. He's on every B round right now. When Rops is getting troubled up in A main, Brokey is there to help out. Fast mid this time for B and E. Yeah, and with Twist tucked, man, he's going to be good to respond to this play now. Oh, he goes one for one, but Brokey! Oh, ho, ho! Okay. Eyes closed. Couldn't even see what was happening in middle, but that doesn't stop him from finding impact, does it? It's an opsy. He's called, guys. I might have found a bit of a timing here. I'm deep up the ramp side. Maybe we just lean back into one of these B plays. Now, Carrigan doesn't know he's so deep. And as he... Ooh, yeah, that's yeah. a wide old swing, isn't it? Still, it's not the kill. You would have loved that. That would have been your invitation. Gets a little more awkward. GXX will win that fight to Carrigan. Rain still in cave. You know he's going to oh, be here. Oh, God. But he's going to spam out the bomb plant. A scenario dead. GXX falls trying to deal with the lane wrapper. Now it is just an Opsy who's going to get silenced. The Orps getting a lot of mileage up here for FaZe. And they're now onto double digits, 10 to four. It might have been, you know, a kind of heated start with both teams looking competitive early on. But the longer this game's gone on, the more phase have risen to the occasion. Yeah, the big change, they just stopped with that B aggro, right? They started putting double middle. They started taking a lot more control there. Rain's been super successful in his spams. I can't believe he even spams out the plants there as well. Whoever's putting the bomb down this map is just getting reamed out. It's more often than not scenario, and he keeps getting killed on both bomb sites. But yeah, Brokey just quick shotting everyone with this AWP right now. B and E cannot find a way in. Their five B, uh, B default plays were not working. Smoked out of mid yet again. Rain looking for more random spam. More free damage. Twist has gone back to change his weapon. Reset on that A site. Still got a double orb. Rops is wielding his towards Donut. He's letting them go up top red. He's told his team, and so Brokey's been dispatched to pull back. Rain does get aggressive and catch GXX towards. Wait, was that was in middle. He killed him bottom mid from B, and it wasn't even a wall bang. Can't tell you how. Rops almost lines up two. Bomb loose in middle, and this round's falling apart. As they try to go red, mate, they're going to go into another one of these orbs. And Brokey, I mean, it's just pick your poison, pick your fighter. Where do you want to go? It's into the the, uh, the the demise, right? FaZe Clan up onto 11. The Orps just tearing through them. I don't know how that wasn't uh, a rule bang out of rain. Yeah. I can't piece that together. Unless he walked all the way through the smoke and fought mid, but like there was a player on ledge. Yeah. And he and he killed the guy bottom mid from beat. I literally have no idea how. Must have been a wall bang. Maybe it didn't show in the kill feed, but uh, I'm, I'm gobsmacked and rain. He's just built diff. He's just doing it dirty. And these Orps, okay. Well, that's not a wall bang. I guess if you can fit a bullet through it, full damage, mate. <laughs> Rain's finding holes. He's finding Dude. nooks and crannies. I mean, he really is like on, on ancient. He is just the caveman. Yeah. Caveman. Neanderthal rain. Yeah, it, it's it's crazy, dude. It was him. You know, he started to cook up a bunch of these exciting angles early on, and he's refining them, making them even prettier. That's sick, dude. I can't believe it's so good because it, it's not just like the flashy. It's it's more damage with that spot. He's got such a nice lineup. This is cool though. Phase. They don't know it, but they're getting boxed in right now. Freshly squeezed phase juice, courtesy of B&E, trapping them in A main. 
Breakfast is served. Yeah, now the flank's been spotted, though. It gets a little bit weird, because Bandit and Eagles, they want to try and pressure with this. Ooh, they're winning all the early fights. Rox turns around oh. and mops up that flank. Both those players dealt with, and now options open. Two phase, Rain has got a lot of room. He's all the way through B. They can't go back. The bomb is Ooh. dropped in the A site, but as Bad News Eagles are pressuring these main players, the results just aren't there. They turn, they get the info that Rain is flanking, but that's not going to make this any easier for Synopsy. Peeking out, can't quite double up, and even if he dealt with twists, Rain was ready and raring to go to trade that one out. Yeah, this is this is a lights out phase. This is the phase I wanted today, right? It hurts for B and E to just get bullied like this, but welcome to the legend stage, folks. Welcome to a game versus legends. One of the favorite teams to to win the major here in phase. And about time for some of these players as well. This super team is putting on a super show. 12 to 4 with a pistol in their pocket despite a 3 on 5 disadvantage. Rain runs amid Molotov. Absolutely no respect from this guy in this map. Flatro coming in through. Rain does get shot by his teammate, but now Flatro knows he's in position. Takes the kill. There's a gun to grab there if he wants to risk it. But really, this is all a ruse for a day walk. Yeah, GXX has had a really quiet game. Bit of a rough one for him. And he's the only guy left on this A bomb site. He gets the info that they're out. But is that going to make this any easier to deal with on the force out of Bad News Eagles? That smoke's kind of less than ideal. It actually gives the CTs a way to get to default, a way to cross in. Carrigan with this wrap should be good to trade one flat throw. So that's something to go off of at least. But a three on three. Not out of the woods yet. Twist is making it that much easier, though, with each kill he gets. And even though they've smoked off the donut post plant, they don't feel safe nor secure in getting on this bomb. They're just playing for kills now, and wow. they're not going to get them. Carrigan turns on a dime to close it, and the conversions now are flowing. Four phase. You just look to run away with this one. Yeah. You know, don't get me wrong, for Bad News Eagles, it's a bit of a shame that this is where the game is at right now. They're not going to have many chances to turn it around. But if FaZe do just go on to close this out cleanly, it's at least reassuring for a squad that a lot of people has pegged as favorites to make it through into the playoffs. Yeah, it's even a testament just to the mental capacity of FaZe, right? Coming in with a with a good mentality after, you know, losing pretty dominantly 16 8 to ends in that opener. Uh, the, the budget phase, the baby phase, some say. Um, but yeah, FaZe coming in, not letting that dismay them and just trying to keep it as clean as they can from here on out. 13 to 4 and full eco. Phase are just contacting into B. Carrigan, the ramp man, he's been dueling it all damn day. Synopsy doesn't get clear, but it's not the gun for the job. Carrigan's got cover from the back of the ramp and he's farming as well. It's only rig on, you know, 1v5. Phase bordering 14 rounds. And like you said, not many chances. It's all going to come down to one buy on the CT side. Yeah, one chance, one opportunity to turn it all around. GXX gets his AWP, and really, I'm going to home in on him. He needs to step up with it, man. He really does. You know, like uh, matching up up against FaZe, up against Brokey, one of, you know, the, uh, the big stars of 2022. It was never going to be easy, but 3 and 15, not where he needs to be, man. So now with the CT AWP in his hands, hoping for a bit of a change out of this guy. Hoping for that second wind. If it doesn't arrive, yeah. FaZe Clan will have just run away with this game. And really, you just need to be in the right spot, but you don't really know where FaZe are going to go right now, considering like just the, the single AWP alone on Brokey was, was perfect in every position, every round on his first half. But then once we started seeing double AWPs, once Carrigan and Robs started wielding them as well, it was just over that half. So GXX... Where's he going to start? Triple mid. Here we go. Over the top of the Molotov, but he's smoked instead. Rain fights through it yet again, but he doesn't know what he's running into. If he kills one, he will get traded, but he's crept into the smoke. They've seen him last second. GXX saves it. Recovery shot, but he needs more. Yeah, one kill ain't bad, right? We're going to need to keep this AWP as a constant playmaker in this round. Plant now coming in, Whoa. spam. Regon at least bails them out of that one. Saves the life of one flat throw. Twists, dispatches no. of him with a double. 
And what was a 5v3 for Bad News oh, Eagles no. now turns very, very sour. With that kill onto one flat throw, they know they've lost Donut. Suddenly, oh, oh, no, no, no. Rops' his back was turned, but a missed shot that just sails on by him. GXX, the nightmare continues, 1v3, and he's out of there trying to save. Brokey is not in a forgiving mood, though. He wants to take this AWP away. They see him running. They Got see it. him trying to get out of there with it. And he should have put enough distance between himself and FaZe to at least hold on to that AWP. But yeah. still, you know, there's no ignoring the scoreline. There's no ignoring this game out of FaZe. This one is teed up to be a very convincing win for them. Yeah, small victory, but the big one is certainly in FaZe's pocket. This is going to be the most dominant map we've seen today. And I don't know if there's going to be any way for BNE to stop that one. Also, a 16 4 was Nip taking down Vitality. So maybe BNE can hold on for one more, try and uproot that at least. But FaZe are not in a forgiving mood. Triple mollies that B already used. BNE taking that. Jag control instantly in rain. He's looking back through his spam spot on the other side as well. You just can't get comfortable in cave when rain's still standing. Full volley of util, full exec into B. Karagun running through the smoke. How does he win that man? He's up in the face of Synopsy. Now, luckily enough, Sinari's traded rain. is on this late lurk all the way up through middle. Recon dead, rotating in, never lives to see the retake attempt. And Rops even going to deal with one flat throw over in cave. Rain has completely left the flank. And so right now, Bad News Eagles are worried about a play that cannot get made anymore. They're holding for a wrap. They're constantly paranoid about it. Everyone's set up to spam this bomb and play around denying a defuse. That means Bad News Eagles, they've got to try to get on it. They're safe from the angle. Oh, Fades go running in and stop the defuse. And GXX is brushed aside. It's a dominant victory for FaZe Clan to see them through 1-1. That round is just such a descriptive, you know, way to, to, to break down that entire map, right? Like, it, everyone's looking left and right, left and right, up and down. They don't know where to go. And FaZe is just jumping through smokes, shooting through walls, keeping the pressure on. And they're, they're looking like they're having fun as well. And that's that's nice, right? Just keeping themselves together after dropping 0-1 to end. So they now recover 1-1. One one. It's going to be B&E, who are down 0-2, joining Vitality.